What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another Madden 20 prospect rebuild and today we are going to be doing a Jordan Love Green Bay Packers rebuild the quarterback that they took in the first round and yes we are going to be trading away Aaron Rodgers and building around Jordan Love so I know Madden's kind of like trading system is a little messed up so I don't know if I'm going to get the like the right value for Aaron Rodgers in return but let's look at the team before we think about any trades and what I want to do so we have David Bakhtari one of the best tackles in the NFL, only 27 years old, 95 overall. He's going to be a beast for us still, um, and he'll be here for a while. We do have Elton Jenkins, who will now be in his second year, and looks like he can develop to be a pretty good left guard. We do have Corey Lindsay, who's 28, and he could be a serviceable center, so maybe we won't need to upgrade there. We have John Runyon Jr. here at the right guard. He's only 23. I think we can develop him as well. And we have Rick Wagner here as our right tackle. He's 29 years old, so we'll see if we maybe want to move him in the offseason. We do have Mercedes Lewis as our number one tight end, but we do have Josiah Deguerara, who was there. I know I'm butchering that name, but he was their third round pick uh, tight end, so we'll see if we can develop him to maybe be our starter for us in the future we'll see though at receivers it's not the greatest obviously we have one of the better receivers in the league in Devonte adams we have devin funches as our number two uh, marcus valdez uh, scantling as our number three guy and yeah we're gonna definitely need to upgrade receiver i'm surprised they didn't really touch receiver in a loaded class here i'm not really too sure about that aaron Rodgers, we will be trading away he'll probably have a massive cap hit but yeah we're gonna be doing that and then aaron jones is our running back for now and he's 24 so until he's a free agent, I might keep him around. They did draft A.J. Dillon in the second round, and we could end up going with him down the line, but I might trade Jamal Williams as well. There's Jordan Love. He will be the starter this year once we trade away Aaron Rodgers. So moving over to the defense side of things, we have Darnell Savage as our free safety. We have Preston Smith and Zadari Smith as our outside linebackers. Christian Kirksey as our middle linebacker one, and then Oren Burks here as our middle linebacker two. So you can see we are going to need to upgrade the middle linebackers, but our outside linebackers are pretty solid. Preston Smith is 26 years old, and Zadarius Smith is 26 years old as well. So Adrian Amos coming over from the uh, Bears last year, 26 years old. He should be a fine, strong safety for us. Now moving over to the corners, we have Jared Alexander, who is going to be a beast for us. Uh, let me just upgrade his stat, and then I could see his correct age at the moment. And he is 22 years old. Yeah, he's going to be a stud for us. We have Kevin King, who we can maybe develop to be like a slot guy, but I don't know how well he'll be as our cornerback too. And yeah, our third cornerback is Josh Jackson. A lot of Josh Jacksons in the sports world, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he'll pan out. He's only 23, so you never know. We do have Kenny Clark as our D tackle. He's a beast there. But Dean Lowry, I don't know if he'll develop as a good enough left end. And at right end, we have um, Montrevis Adams, who's not very good as well. So we're definitely going to need to upgrade D-line, get another corner and middle linebacker, uh, and then probably receiver throughout this next offseason. I really wish there was a trade finder in Madden. I'm really surprised they haven't added that yet because I would love to see what we could get for Aaron Rodgers, like MLB as a trade finder, um, NBA as a trade finder, but let's see. The pairs, what would, would you give me Khalil Mack, let's say for Aaron Rodgers, just hypothetically? Okay, so not even close. Yeah, Rodgers trade value isn't great. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to get for him straight up. Like, let's say the uh, Chargers, would you give me, I don't know, uh, Everson Griffin, did they? Did they sign him? Because I, I don't believe he signed him really. Would you give me Desmond King and like a first round pick? Probably not for Rodgers, right? Because it's not even coming close. Would you just give me Desmond King for Rodgers? Wow. I don't know what I'm going to get for Rodgers, but I don't know if it's going to be very good. We might have to just trade him for a first round pick and not a player. Like I was going back to the Bears who needed a quarterback and I was going to see if they would give me Rokon Smith because we do need better middle linebackers. So if we did offer that to um, them straight up, Aaron Rodgers for Rokon Smith, would they accept this? no but they have all right like like i don't even know at this point like now i'm just gonna go to the chargers and see if they would give me their first round pick for aaron Rodgers. like would you give me your first and second for rogers okay it's there what about just your first for rogers damn this sucks okay so we end up trading aaron Rodgers for just a first round pick maybe i could have exported a little more but it is what it is we get a first round pick we are going to move on from aaron Rodgers. obviously one of the better quarterbacks in the game kind of regressing um as his career has been going on though uh, last year wasn't great for him but yeah i'll just see you guys at the end of the year and let's hope that we get a top five draft pick uh because we should be pretty bad we finished the season with a six and ten record we were second to last in the nfc north so we weren't great uh, but we weren't as bad as I would kind of like to be in order for us to get a top draft pick. If we take a look at the stats, Jordan Love looks like he wasn't horrible. Wow, he had a great touchdown interception ratio. Really looking after our playing after uh, Aaron Rodgers in 3,600 yards. All right. Aaron Jones was pretty solid. 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns. AJ Dillon, 
wasn't really great behind him. Receiving wise, oh, Devontae, damn. Uh, he wasn't the best. It was Marcus Valdez Scantling, or slot guy. All right, and Devin Funchy's got more catches than Devontae Adams. All right. Uh, sacks wise, Rick Widener gave up the most. All right, but you know what? I'm kind of comfortable with our O line. Defense wasn't that bad either. Uh, let's see. Sacks wise, Kenny Clark had 14 and a half sacks for a D tackle. That's insane. Interceptions, two for Alexander, Kirksey, and Kevin King. And Jordan Love took home Offensive Rookie of the Year. Well, at least for the NFC. So let's simulate here, and actually we can upgrade our players first. And Jordan Love is going to be a 78 going into next year. You love to see that. So yeah, let's simulate the playoffs and see who wins the uh, the Super Bowl. And the Cleveland Browns beat the Dallas Cowboys 45-20 in the Super Bowl. So do we have any players to upgrade? Okay, Jordan Love gets to a 79. I will definitely take that. So uh, Mason Crosby, it looks like, is our best for Adrian. We have Taysom Hill. All right, I'm not going to be bringing back Taysom Hill. I don't even know we had Taysom Hill. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I'll just bring back Mason Crosby. Do we have cap space? Oh, yeah, I guess trading Rodgers really hurt us. Damn. All right. Uh, so we have absolutely zero cap space. I don't even know if we're going to be able to sign anybody. So let's just get to free agency. Maybe it'll open up once we get into the offseason. Nope. We have negative $8 million. Damn. So really trading away Aaron Rodgers hurt us out a lot. Maybe I should have just cut him. That would have worked out better. Uh, if we do look and see, I guess if I can go to uh, my salaries here. Damn. So oh, we don't have any... Yeah, we we have no 2020 cap penalty, though. But I guess Aaron Rodgers is a 2019 cap penalty. You can see we're paying Zadarius Smith a lot of money. Devontae Adams a decent amount. Bakhtari will be a free agent next year. Uh, we're going to have to pay him a lot. Preston Smith we're giving a lot of money to. Damn, okay. So that kind of hurts uh, that we are obviously... We don't have any cap space this offseason. I literally can't even sign Mason Crosby to anything. All right, so with our first round pick, ninth overall, I believe this is from our this is our pick. We took Amori Bogan, who is a right tackle out of Louisville. He's 10th true talent. We took him at nine, um, but I'll take it. He's a 75 overall. I took Austin Wood with a 30th pick. Yeah, the Chargers ended up with a 30th pick. All right, so we traded Rodgers for a 30th pick. Not great, but Austin Wood, 21st in true value. We took him at 30. He could definitely be maybe a slot guy for us down the line. And my second round pick was not very good and yeah our drift wasn't spectacular i probably should have traded down a lot but yeah that is what we ended up taking i probably should have took a kicker as well because we have no cap space we technically don't have a kicker so it might be tank on next year as well like we're not even able to sign a kicker i guess that was a horrible idea trading away aaron Rodgers, and i regret it okay i regret it so here is going to be the team for season number two it's the same old one i do want to start the gora here and see if he can develop as our tight end that we let i think mercedes Lewis retired we have funches there uh i am actually gonna trade jamal williams at this moment uh and then we have what i want in the slot oh my god okay his face looks kind of weird uh, and then we have Devonta Adams and Devin Funches as the outside receivers. Defense-wise, we have Darnell Savage who's an 80. Smith, Burks, Kirksey, still the same middle linebackers. We had no cap space to upgrade him, and there was no good middle linebackers in the draft. Zadari Smith as our left outside linebacker. AJ Amos there. Kevin King, Lowry, Clark, Adams, yeah. We got to upgrade. We, it's pretty much the same team, which is unfortunate because we had no cap space to really upgrade this team. I mean, if we are going to look at our actually... I do want to play uh, Bogan here over Rick Wagner, and I think I'm going to move Rick Wagner and Jamal Williams right now. All right, it's looking like the only team that wants Jamal Williams is the Chargers, and they can't even afford him, and we can't obviously take any money back. So I'm probably going to do a two-for-one here. I'm going to probably trade uh, Rick Wagner and Jamal Williams and see if I can get maybe a first. I mean, that'd be kind of nice. So let's see if we can do this. The Vikings seem okay, interested. We can work with the Vikings. Would you give me your first-round pick for these two players right here? And, oh, it's very close. Okay, so what we're going to do is we will throw you a fifth round pick. Yeah, we'll get it done. So we get another first round pick in this draft. I will take it. And yeah, we saved some money there. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And let's just hope our players develop and we can actually have cap space next off season. All right, guys. So we finished up season number two with the same exact record, six and ten. Hey, we had like pretty much the same exact team. But the cap space thing is figured out. I was able to sign David Bakhtari and Kenny Clark to long-term extensions. And I think we will still have a couple other free agents uh, coming up, uh, such as Aaron Jones, I know. Kevin King as well. I think Corey Lindsay. So we'll have to decide if we want to offer them uh, contracts. Devin Funches. All right. He went off in week 17. Um, I don't know if it was against backups, but all right. So we can check out the stats this year. The division wasn't that great. Uh, we have Minnesota's first round pick, and they went 9-7. and seven, So it's going to be probably around 20. But Jordan Love was pretty great. He was through 4,000 yards, had 31 TDs, 17 interceptions. Like, I'll take that. Aaron Jones... He's going to be a free agent. It's going to, I'm going to see how much he wants because we could go out and get like a different running back. I don't think AJ Dillon's all that good, but we'll wait and see on Aaron Jones. Receiving wise, Devonta Adams, okay. And Devin Funches both got a thousand yards and Funches got a hundred catches. 
All right, um, Degora was all right as a tight end, nothing special. Uh, sacks wise, Victari and Bogan gave up the most sacks, but I guess that's expected for tackles in Madden. And sacks wise, oh, Kenny Clark went from what 14 to 5? Damn, and then interceptions two for three guys. So yeah, we're still gonna wanna upgrade the same things. Maybe an O-line upgrade, maybe another receiver. We're gonna wanna maybe upgrade tight end as well now. And then we have to do the D-line, the middle linebackers, and add another corner. So let's get into the offseason. All right, so the Eagles win the Super Bowl. They beat the Ravens 34-28. So Aaron Jones is a free agent. Uh, so is our kicker that they signed. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we're actually going to have cap space. So I'm going to wait till free agency to go out and get that. I think I might wait for Aaron Jones as well to offer him a contract. Uh, John Runyon Jr. and Corey Lindsay. Like, I wouldn't mind. Eh, I, I think I will give. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I think I might wait. Mm, What's well, five mil a year? But you know what? I think I will offer him this. Please accept this. Okay, good. He accepts that. Corey Lindsay. He is 30. I might let walk and see what we want to do in free agency. Kevin King, though, I'd like to bring back. Damn, we're only going to have like 30 mil in cap space. I mean, that's still a lot, but I don't know if it's enough to like get somebody really good. So we get Kevin King back. Cool. Tim Williams. Ooh. Why didn't I trade this dude? Oh, that was stupid of me. Okay, so what we're going to do is, hmm, Tim Williams or Corey Lindsay. Then we're going to let them both walk. And same with Aaron Jones. And then we'll see what we want to do. Let's just see who's in free agency to begin with. And then we'll potentially go after anyone. So we're going to have, what, 28 mil in cap space. I want to see who's here that would fit our team really well. Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> and he only wants 8 mil. Uh, what is that? How much? Okay, he wants a big signing bonus. But I wouldn't mind offering Jalen Ramsey a 99 overall Ramsey a deal. Desmond King. Okay, there's very good corners in this class. So... <laughs> Yeah, we need a corner. We might get one. There's not a lot of good D linemen. Um, there is Melvin Ingram, but he is 32. Uh, so was there any other DNs? No, it's just outside linebackers. That we could convert it to DN, but I think I might go after Jalen Ramsey. I mean, Desmond King would actually save me two mil, but it's freaking Jalen Ramsey. I think I'm going to go after Jalen Ramsey here. Um, let's give him a four-year deal. Maybe we could do a little bit less on the signing bonus just because we're going to be his only offer. So maybe he'll accept it anyway after day one. Let me just see how much, uh, how many points this is going to be if I put this at 11. This is a little bit less than what he wants, but it would save me a little bit of money down um, in the long term. So 92 total points. Let's really hope he accepts that after day one, because then that would be kind of embarrassing. We do need another receiver, Kenny Galladay. Uh, I don't want to get into a bidding war with um, with New England, unfortunately. And yeah, that would pretty much take up a lot of our cap space. We need a kicker. Do we need a punter as well? No, we just need a kicker. Uh, is mason crosby here no he's not it looks like so let's just get randy bullock sure we don't need like an all-star kicker um and then anything else i mean we could use this 11 mil or some part of it on a running back carson aaron jones i mean i will offer aaron jones a pretty disrespectful offer to him i'll give him like three mil a year and we'll give you a signing bonus of like 1.79 mil if he accepts that cool if he doesn't it's whatever and then i mean is there any good centers here alex mack is here uh he's 35 though is it even gonna be worth it giving him a one-year deal take up most of our cap so let's just advance a week here if we can get jalen ramsey that would be huge please okay there's another one there and we get jalen ramsey we get ramsey aaron jones back on that contract which is pretty nice and we get reggie or uh, randy bullock not reggie bullock uh so yeah that's actually pretty good with me we have seven and a half mil remaining i don't really know who i can offer that to uh so mm, Shaquille griffin i mean if there was another corner that would take a pretty horrible offer for me but like we do have Kevin King in the slot, which I don't mind because now we have Jalen Ramsey and Jared, uh, Jared Alexander. So I don't think I'm going to go after any more corners. I mean, is there any good middle linebackers? Alex Anzalone alone would be nice, but we'd have to pay a lot of money. Zach Braun, mm, I mean, he's an immediate upgrade. So you know what? I might, mm, how much would I have to give him? Okay. Uh, if I give him this, I would want at least three mil or just about three mil. Would this be enough to get him? Oh, wow. Okay. We can actually give him a little bit less than this. So let's give him like 3.4. Would he accept this deal? 96 total points. Okay, he should definitely accept that. And we'll have $2.8 uh, million remaining in cap space. And this will definitely upgrade our middle linebacker position. And he accepts that. Sweet. So who's the fifth year option we have to pick up? It is uh, Jair Alexander. And we are going to definitely pick up his fifth year option. Um, 100%. No doubt about it. So that was a huge free agency for us. So let's get here into the NFL draft. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we ended up signing. Can you, yeah, you can go to my signing. So wow. Richard Sherman didn't sign. All right, Chris Carson. All right, Jordan Lewis. If I could sign 
Richard Sherman at the start of the year, I might. But yeah, Ramsey's going to be huge. Aaron Jones, Zach Braun, and Randy Bullock. So let's get here into this NFL draft. And we have the seventh pick. So I think I'm going to take Shaquille Swift here, a left end from Fresno State. Please be good. Please. And he's a 77. Let's go. He was second in true value. And we took him at 70. He's a 69 jersey number, it looks like. And yeah, another immediate upgrade. This offseason has been very good to us. I think I need to take a center next, though. I mean, we could take Carson Jowers, but we could also wait until... Uh, do we have our... Yeah, we have our third round. He looks... Could be solid. Or we could take Terrell Grove. Oh, do I think he's going to be here next? Oh, wait. This is the first round pick we have from... Uh, Minnesota so I could still take him in the second round so there was I think another end I might take Bruce Truman here who looks pretty solid he is a late first round grade uh I mean Dorian Weatherspoon definitely not okay uh so I think I'm gonna take or K Levy now yeah I'm gonna take Bruce Truman please be solid please be at least a 73 Mm, 72 okay he was 24th in true value but took him at 29 so i'm gonna take carson jowers here in the second round and he sucks nice that was stupid so yeah looking at the draft recap here we did pretty well with the first two picks and then it wasn't great after that's pretty much the story of how my drafts go richard sherman isn't here so i guess he ended up getting signed i guess we didn't really get another receiver so we could sign like a john ross here can we afford him I don't think we will be able to. Oh, no. We are able to afford him. Cool. So this is going to be the team for season number three. And I think we could be a playoff team this year. So we have Victoria Jenkins. Uh, yeah, Carson Towers will be our starting center. I kind of messed up and didn't really get another center because we didn't bring back Corey Wednesday. We got Runyon, uh, Bogan there. And then tight end is a little weak as well. I'll put Degora there. Uh, okay, no, I didn't want to do that. So let's just put um, yeah, Degora there. Uh, and then receivers, we have Devontae Adams, we have Devin Funches, we have John Ross, and then we'll have uh, Alex Wood. What was his name again? I took him in last year's draft. Austin Wood. You know what? I'm going to put him at the three. I want to see what he can do uh, because we basically traded Aaron Rodgers for him, so I would like for him to be valuable. AJ Dillon is a fullback. Sure. Jordan Love is an 83 overall, which is pretty nice, and our defense is massively upgraded. We have Darnell Savage, Preston Smith, Kristen Kirky, uh, Kirksey excuse me, as the number two middle linebacker, uh, Zach Braun as our middle linebacker one, Zanarius Smith. Uh, Adrian Amos, Jared Alexander is now our quarterback too because we had a J, um, Jalen Ramsey. We have Kevin King, uh, Strummel Swift, Shaquille Swift, uh, not Strummel Swift. And then we have Kenny Clark and then we have uh, Dean Lowry. So I think this is going to be a playoff team potentially. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number three. All right, so at the end of season number three, we do make the playoffs. We are taking on the eight and eight Seattle Seahawks in round one of the playoffs. The Bears ended up winning the division at 12 and four, but hey, I'll take an 11 five record and us going to the playoffs. Jordan Love was solid, 3,500 yards, 30 touchdowns, six interceptions. Aaron Jones was amazing though for us, 1,300 yards, 5.2 yards per carry, 11 touchdowns, zero fumbles. He was great and he's not making probably, he's making a fraction of what he should have made. Uh, Devonta Adams, who was going to be a free agent, I re-signed him on a five-year deal. He was good, 73 catches, 1,000 yards. Uh, Austin Wood was pretty good as well, 800 yards, eight touchdowns. There's Devin Funches, who will also be a free agent. Blocking-wise, was it our center that... Mm, Carson Jowers gave up eight sacks, not very good. Um, so yeah, there's the old wide stuff. Uh, tackling wise, uh, Zach Brown had the most tackles, followed by Jalen Ramsey, Christian Kirksey, and then Zedarius Smith. We did get one double digit sack leader or sack person in Zedarius Smith. There's Clark, Kirksey, Preston Smith, Shaquille Swift, and D. Lowry in interception. Zach Brown had four. Darnell Savage had three, and a bunch of guys had two, and then a bunch had one. So let's upgrade our players before we head here into Wild Card Weekend. We're in Seattle. Can we beat Seattle in round one? Or are we going to lose? Please beat Seattle and move on to the divisional round. And oh my god, we get blown out. <laughs> Alright, well that's embarrassing. We can't even beat Seattle in the playoffs. We can't even beat an 8-8 eight and eight team in the playoffs. What happened? So we ended up losing 41-8. to eight. Russell Wilson, three touchdowns here. Interceptions, short of love. Wasn't very good. Uh, Aaron Jones was a beast. I don't know why we didn't keep giving him the ball. But alright, whatever. Tyler Lockett went off and then... Who got the interception? It was Trey Flowers. All right, we're going to do one more season now. So the Denver Broncos blow out the New York Giants in the Super Bowl 34-6. So we don't have a lot of cap space, and we have some free agents. Devin Funches would bring us down to pretty much no money here. <laughs> uh, wow, all right. We might let him walk, and then, mm, yeah. So I'm going to bring back J.K. Scott. He's a pretty solid punter. Please accept the steal. Okay. Um, Josh Jackson, like, we don't need... Marcus Valdez Scott. I mean, the really only person I really need is my kicker. Oh, geez. I'm about to lose a lot of people here because I signed uh, Jalen Ramsey last year. Uh, can we bring back Christian Kirksey on this deal? We'll give him a little bit less than what he wants. Would he accept this? That'll leave him with $0. Okay. He will not. Can I franchise tag him? 
It cost me fourteen and a half million dollars. I don't know why I would do that. I mean, we could franchise tag Devin Funches. I mean, it's not a horrible idea to do it. Obviously, um, we don't have the salary for this move. What? All right, we'll just do a one-year deal, and he'll decline that. And then we could franchise tag him. Yeah, so we have negative like $18 million, uh, but we needed to do that because, yeah, this is going to be the final offseason. I don't want to lose our number two receiver when I really can't add anyone equal value next to him. So we have negative $16 million in cap space. <laughs> it's not a great free agency class anyway. Last year was a lot better, so that's fine. So we are going to lose some key guys, but we do have seven draft picks. So, I mean, we're not going to be able to trade those draft picks for players. We're going to have to use them all to draft people, but I might try to trade like my third and a first and my next year's first to like move into the first round again so like would the Bengals give me 20 for my first round pick next year and my third round pick this year and oh, it's very close and i don't mind throwing in a 2023 20, seventh round pick and they agree to that so now we have two first round picks i think i'm going to trade all my picks next year four picks in this draft like can i trade my next year's two three and four uh or let's go to hmm let's go two and four here and we'll throw in the first like okay player here um reed widener you know quarterbacks some teams might need that let's see would the bills give me their first round pick here at 29 for that it's actually pretty good uh, i don't know oh. wait we would go over how would we go over the cap space okay maybe we shouldn't offer widener in that trade okay so they do not accept that so we might be able to get like another second um let's see here like would you give me second uh pick 61 okay so we get that and then i'll make one final trade here where i'm going to move my fifth and my next year's third and fourth and see if that can also move me into the second round broncos you got a good second no nope, you have the worst because you won the super bowl browns would you do this trade and they do not okay so mm, okay what about the broncos would they just do that for the last pick in the second round i'll do that so they don't agree to that that hurts all right so we might have to take like a third round pick here uh, which isn't very great, honestly. Um, so let's let's see. Unless the Cardinals like to steal a little bit better than some of the other teams did. Okay, never mind. Uh, so let's just let's just go to the Broncos or Cardinals and let's take their third round pick for this. Would they even accept this? If not, then it's whatever. Okay, they do. So let's get into this draft. We got the fourth true value guy here at 24. I also drafted another right guard in this draft so i'm hoping that one of these guys can play center like i know it's a big s but it's a video game so let's hope that one of them can play center um can you look and see who you drafted already yeah so i did draft two right guards a 75 and a 78 overall which is actually really good uh so darren metcalf is he related to dj uh probably not all right so here is the draft recap it really wasn't anything great outside these picks i mean like kirby pinky and markel win were actually like better in their true value than they were like at the draft position but uh, and same with Sammy Blair, but it just really wasn't great. But let's hope one of these guys can play center. I'm actually going to move um, probably like, I don't know. We could adjust the roster here and let's go to the right guard section. And then let's see what their overall would be. I mean, Runyon's an 80. I mean, if we move Brax in the center, let's see what his overall is. Uh, he's what a 78 right now. We move him to center. Does it change? Uh, he goes from a 78 to a 77. You know what? I'll take it. All right, so here's going to be our lineup here for season number four. Bakhtari, Jenkins, Braxton, Runyon, Bogan. And we got Tyler Eifert. Uh, I guess the game signed me him, but you know what? He's probably our best tight end, so I will take it. We kind of got screwed with money in this video. And then we have Devontae Adams, Austin Wood, Aaron Jones, Jordan Love, AJ Dillon, and Devin Funches. I think this is definitely our best offense yet. We didn't really get to add that star number two receiver, but we kind of added that corner. Um, and we have Savage Smith, uh, Barnyard, and then Brown. Uh, we drafted him. I forgot when, but uh, yeah, because we lost Kirksey. Zadari Smith, Adrian Amos, and then we have Alexander Swift. Oh my God, this dude's a stud. This dude might be like an 85. He's got superstar X Factor. He might be like an 86 at the end of the year. We still have Lowry, Clark, um, and then uh, Jalen Ramsey, and then Kevin King. And then here is our special teams. I think that this team could win the Super Bowl, so let's hope that happens. All right, so we end this season with a 11 and 4 and 1 record. We did tie, it looks like, the Chicago Bears, but we ended up with a first round bye, which is dope. So, you know, we're going to be at least ending this video with a division round or division weekend um, appearance. So, Jordan Love was one yard away from 4,000 yards. He threw 37 TDs and nine interceptions. Rushing wise, Aaron Jones was pretty solid 1,100 yards or 11,500 yards, seven TDs, four yards per carry. Devontae Adams, 90 catches, 11. 1100 yards funches 87 and 930 and also adams had 11 tds austin wood had 870 yards and then there was eifert with seven touchdowns as well blocking wise 
probably our best season yet. Elgin, um, Elton Jenkins gave up nine sacks from a guard, which is great. And then our tackles, uh, both gave up, uh, or just one gave up nine and then one gave up six. Defense wise, Braun was our only 100 tackle person. And then, um, Amos and Alexander had 90 plus. And then sacks wise, we had two double digit guys, Shaquille Swift and Kenny Clark. And then eight for Smith, seven for Lowry, six and a half for Preston Smith. I will take it. Four picks for Jared Alexander, two for Amos, and then one for Braun. King, Ramsey, and Darnell Savage. So let's see who we're taking on in round one. We might, um, okay, yeah, I actually want to see what overall Shaquille Swift is. Uh, I'm sorry if I've been saying Stromwell Swift, but uh, uh, Shaquille Swift is now an 84 overall. Clark's a 98, Ramsey 99. Wow. We have a lot of superstar X Factor guys on the defense. They're probably carrying us. So who are we taking on next round? It's the Dallas Cowboys, who I believe, okay, Devontae Adams, is he about to be a 99? Uh, the Cowboys are 10-5-1, and one, so maybe we actually tied the Cowboys. I'm not too sure. Is Adams a 99? Oh my god. So we have two 99s. We have a 98 on this team. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So can we beat Dallas at Lambeau Field and move on to the Conference Championship? We do! We shut him out! We win 34 to nothing. Holy crap! Oh my god. Jordan Love threw four touchdowns, 300 yards. Wow. So Jordan Love threw 300 yards, four touchdowns, Tack Prescott... Zero touchdowns, two interceptions. Aaron Jones had 91 yards. Uh, Austin Wood went off. Okay, that is the guy we traded Aaron Rodgers basically for. We did give up two sacks. They gave up three. And then who got our interceptions? Uh, it was Adrian Amos and Jalen Ramsey. All right, so conference championship here against the Arizona Cardinals. The 12-4 and four Cardinals uh, is in Arizona. So let's see. Can we beat them and go to the Super Bowl? Uh, we do. We win 42-35. to 35. That is what I am talking about. So let's see what the um, the box score was here. And the Jets beat the Chiefs by eight. So we ended up winning 42 to 35, a rematch of what? The 2016 NFC Championship game or divisional round. But Jordan Love, besides the uh, besides that, he threw five touchdowns, 350 yards. Kyle Murray, 262 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Kareem Hunt was very good, 11 and a half yards per carry, but Aaron Jones was amazing as well. Um, and then if we check out receiving wise, Austin Wood has been going off in the playoffs and you love to see that. Uh, we did give up two sacks. We had no interceptions. We had three sacks of our own. Shout out to Preston Smith with two, Kenny Clark with one, and we had no interceptions. So it is Super Bowl time against the New York Jets. Let's see if we can beat them. Uh, weekly awards, you have Jordan Love and Preston Smith are your NFC Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week. So let's go here to the Super Bowl. We'll upgrade our players right before it, and we're going to send this one and see if we can beat the uh, the uh, New York Jets. So can we beat the Jets and win the Super Bowl? Uh, what yearly awards? Anything important? Did we get Coach of the Year? No. Was Jordan Love at MVP? No. Um, and Coach of the Year, we were fourth. All right, so can we beat the Jets and win the Super Bowl, please? Please, let's end the video on a good note. And we beat them. Let's go. We win 30 to 24. That's what I'm talking about. We win the Super Bowl and we end the video off on a good note. So 30 to 24 was the final score. And Jordan Love threw two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Darnold had one and one. Uh, Le'Veon Bell went off. Aaron Jones wasn't very good in this game, but he didn't get in the end zone. Same with Jordan Love. Devontae Adams was pretty good. Austin Wood. So I think scored in like every playoff game, which was pretty hype. Uh, running and Bogan gave up sacks. And then um, we had a sack with Preston Smith, half for Kevin King and Kenny Clark. And then Zadaria Smith and Dean Lowry also got one. And Jalen Ramsey got a pick. So yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Let me know which Madden rebuild we should do next. We actually have a pretty good success rate with winning championships. A lot better than what I was doing in the beginning of Madden when I was uploading rebuilds to this channel. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Love you guys. Drop a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.